I want to say good morning again to everybody in Crystal River. We are shining a light on this beautiful Nature Coast City this morning. Yeah, we play favorites on Fridays. We make no secret about that. Today, it is Crystal River's time to shine. This city is known for its amazing waterway, and those who live here had to take action to keep it that way. They wanted to keep it pristine. ABC Action News anchor Vanessa Ariza got the chance to ride along the river with marine biologists and volunteers who may have come up with the secret to saving the river. It's moved out there. It's growing and spreading. These waterways are home to Lisa Moore. As a Crystal River native, she knows what the river should look like. But when the 93 no name storm roared through, the salt water it brought with it killed the hydrilla, an invasive plant that was home to these waters. When it killed all the hydrilla, it went to the bottom. And over a period of years, it just rotted. And an invasive algae, blue green algae called Lingvia, moved into the area and just was just blanketing everything. Limbia is bad news bears for the ecosystem. It's really nasty, nasty stuff. And um, with that operating as the primary producer, we saw a pretty nasty decline in water quality throughout the system. Ryan Brushwood is biology manager with Sea and Shoreline. When he says nasty decline, we are talking no more manatees, dolphins, or anything in between that could thrive. That detriment is what brought him and Lisa together. As the president of Safe Crystal River, she sought out a team to help with recovery efforts six years ago. Flipping a system from an algae-dominated system to a plant-dominated system is the holy grail of a, of a seagrass or a marine biologist, restoration biologist. But they are doing it, and here's how. They pull up the muck and blue-green algae from the bottom of the river. It's then transferred to a nearby site to be sorted and separated. The water is cleaned and put back into the system. The muck and nasty algae is then treated with a polymer. Turns out it makes great fertilizer and is used at a nearby farm. And then you bring in the eelgrass or rockstar plant. Really, it's called rockstar because of its incredible growth. It's grown in a lab north of Tampa. Then teams get to work planting it along the river. So now we've done 52 acres of restoration project and the river's just gone crazy. I mean, there's so many plants and animals in here. Everything is back to the natural state in the 52 acres we've done. The project here in Crystal River is already halfway complete. And in fact, it's already being used in Homosassa. The grand plan and the hope here is that rocks or plants like this will see their way all across the state of Florida to help our ecosystem and what lives inside. In Crystal River, I'm Vanessa Arisa.